short way home. <laughs> yeah, not too far. Uh, we got the way home, man. <laughs> okay. All right, you ready, Logan? Yeah. Logan, uh, good job, buddy. You hung in there tough. I mean, two tough competitors to ch you know chase down, Bo Barron and Mike Sloan. Yeah, those guys were ripping for sure, not making any mistakes out there. Uh, yeah, I was just, I was, uh, so this is like somewhat like a local track to me, so yeah, it's been a little bit since I've ridden here, but I definitely had a line figured out, so I felt super good out here, and I don't know, I was way stoked on the track this weekend. You know, I've watched you grow up, you know, and you become a one tough rider, but uh, definitely <laughs> you were the guy to beat here, you know, definitely with the track, knowing this track. Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, I mean, I definitely, maybe not in the pro class, but I mean, definitely I could have been the guy to beat for sure. All right, let's thank some people. <laughs> All right, yeah, so uh, I couldn't do it without motorsportloan.com, uh, Fast Company, Flex Handlebars, GBC Motorsports, uh, Kenny over at Tire Blocks, Mike Campbell over at Campbell Racing Fabrication. They dial me in with my skid plates and all that good stuff. Uh, Gold Speed Wheels, uh, my Elka suspension and roll design setup was working freaking flawless today. And uh, SSI decals, CNJ powder coat keeps my quad looking super fresh. Um, yeah, Spy Optics keep me seeing happy. And uh, yeah, my bell helmet keeps my lid keeps my lid safe, you know what I mean? So it's good. Once again, Mesquite, let's give it up for Logan Huff. <laughs> Mike Sloan, give it up for Mike Sloan. Mike, uh, just following, you know, you and I spent a lot of time at other races and stuff, and you're really doing a great job 2019, and here you are battling with Bo Barron. What a great race. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, beginning, kind of got off to a slow start, so I started chasing Bo, and he made a mistake. I got around him, and then after that, I just kind of started to start, start my race, and had too many things going on in my head, and kind of started making mistakes and Bo got around me, started riding tight. Once I started regrouping, I started making a charge again and after that I made another mistake and almost threw off my quad. By that time I just kind of put my head down and just kept riding my race really hard time with this finished thing. out in the second spot and that was about it for today. You know, it's a pretty cool track because you got <laughs> motocross section in here, you got the off-road section which you've been spending a lot of time this year racing off-road. Yep. So did that pay off for the sand section? It definitely did, like the dust, the best in desert, the other series I run, um, there's a lot of dust in there, so that definitely helps out when I come out here to works and there's a little bit of dust, I can just push myself through it. So that's awesome to be able to race that, and yeah, just, it wasn't my day, but go back, keep pushing, and get back on top. All right, Mike, let's thank some sponsors. Um, first and foremost, my whole family, I couldn't do it without them. They're here at the track with me, um, Antelope Slot Canyon Tours, B&B Auto Repair, Craig and Rosalind. Huge help to my program, I couldn't do without them. Um, Money and Duncan Racing, he preps my bikes and he makes sure they're on the start line every time. Warren for their awesome motor, um, Kevin and Vina, Vina Prep, Doug Gold, Gold Design, Elka Suspension, Fast Company, um, BWT Wheels, Maxxis Tires, Tire Balls. Just everybody helping out. I couldn't do without all of you guys. Let's give it up once again, Mike Sloan. Second place. All right. We're going to move over to the man of the hour right now. Of course, he's getting ready to go race in a little bit. Bo, another great job. I know we were sitting over there watching. You made a little mistake coming in on the first lap. You hit one of those. Uh, was it? You thought you went straight ahead because you're used to that with your uh, side by side. Yeah, I came in there and. Uh, the ribbon's like the exact same height as the ribbon on the other side, and I thought it was open. The last second, I'm all, oh man, it's ribboned off, so I wanted to turn right hard, and then I didn't want to rip off the wheel or something, so I just center punched it with my bumper and uh, backed it up, and I got going. And yeah, me and Sloan had a really good good race. He was riding a great pace, and um, yeah, like you said, he just made a little mistake over there, and I was fortunate enough to get by and just try to ride smooth. You know, it's, it's hard to keep a ridiculous pace with the track that's so rough and so deep in the sand and you just got to ride a pace you know and just stick it out the whole time. Well you know one, you're one of the old pros that does both you know you're doing the quad and the side by side does it help you for the side by side coming up shortly? Uh, it's nice to see the course but it's it's totally different animal I mean the, the side by side is you know you sit in it it's no movement and, and uh, you know it's it's a lot different. All right, Bo, let's thank, you got some great sponsors. Yeah, right off the top, I'd like to thank CST, um, Sparks for building such a good motor. Um, Kenny over here at Tire Blocks. Um, big hats off to Elka, Roll. Um, my friends, my family, um, 
fast company. Um, all the guys that I raced with and, and uh, uh, the promoter for putting on such a bitch and race. Once again, let's give it up for Bo Barron, number one guy. All right.